Hello everyone, and welcome back to my printmaking tutorial series. This is part three where we will be printing the block. I'm going to go over the materials that you will need for this part. So first thing is your block, of course, and then a sheet of glass or plastic. I just took a sheet of glass out of an old picture frame, and then you'll need a brayer, whatever size you have, and a putty knife or a palette knife if you're a painter, and then some ink. So this is just water-based, black water-based ink. Um, it dries really fast, so I would say only dab out a little bit at a time. A couple other materials you will need is either a wood spoon or a barren. Uh, you don't need both, but I am gonna print with both just to demo them. You'll need some scissors. You'll also need some paper to print on, so I have some newsprint that I'm going to be doing some test prints on, and then I also have this mulberry paper. It's kind of old and a little bit wrinkly, but um, I just wanted to get some prints on it, and thinner paper is a little bit easier to hand print onto, uh, so I recommend that for starting out. Or This is a nice pad of printmaking paper. I'm currently out, but I recommend it. It's pretty thin, and it would do well for hand printing. First thing you'll need to do, uh, you'll need to make some registration marks. So I measured my paper and then my block to see how much I needed for an even border. It's a bit long, but I'm gonna wait until I print it to trim off the end. Other thing you wanna do before you start is you see all these little hairs. So you wanna trim all of these off before you get started, especially the big ones. Uh, just don't like cut into your block because those can pick up ink and get little smudges on your paper while you're printing and they'll just get like dirty and kind of get ink everywhere. So I'm gonna do that and then we will start inking up the block and printing. All the little fuzzies are trimmed up on the sides of my block and now I'm going to put down some ink. Ooh, this ink might be too old. Maybe start with less. <laughs> And then you wanna take your ink knife or putty knife or palette knife and just kind of mix the ink together because if it's been sitting in a drawer on a shelf or on a shelf at the store, it's gonna have separated a little bit. So you wanna make sure you reincorporate all the pigment back into the binder or medium of the ink. So you wanna just scrape it, kind of push it out, squishing it and then scooping it back up. And it's good to try and keep this contained to one area. Some people get a little crazy with their ink. Um, I really like to keep a pretty neat and organized <laughs> workspace. I think it helps one with less cleanup and two with like workflow, but you know, do what works for you. Okay, now all of that's Pretty evenly mixed. You don't see any dried up goo balls or anything like that. Um, so I would say this is ready to spread onto the block. I just kind of get a little bit of it and I try to spread it the length of my brayer in just a thin line. And then you want to roll your brayer through it. You want to do it so that your brayer kind of picks up at the end of the roll. If you can hear that kind of light sizzle, that means the ink is pretty evenly smooth and it's not too thick. See how the texture of the ink is sort of like little dots sticking up? If it's looking like thick lines and like kind of crackly, um, that's too thick, but you want it to be really thin. This is important because if you put too much ink on your block to start with, well, if you put way too much, it will squish out around your design and you won't get crisp lines where you carved. It will also fill in your finer line details and then you're gonna lose a lot of that effort you put into carving. This is kind of what you're going for. Here's where we're gonna start inking. I would say start with less is more because you can always add more ink. 
it is much harder to take ink off the block. You would just have to clean it and start over. So you can see how it gets a nice little gradient. Ooh, I like the way this looks. And you can see how it's starting to build up uh, thickness. And I'm no longer hearing that sizzle on my ink palette, so I'm going to lightly just add a little bit more. Water-based ink isn't my favorite to work with. It does dry quickly. Um, like once your prints are printed, it dries really quickly, which is nice. However, it also dries very quickly <laughs> while you're trying to print. Um, all right, we got that sizzle going, so let's try and get some more. Okay, I'm feeling this is getting close to fully inked up. Um, here's, see those little dots on the actual surface of your plate? That lets me know there's a solid layer of ink on there. Um, so I'm gonna try printing it now. I'm using this old towel that I've used for all of my prints. And I like to clean my fingers. It's good to clean off your fingers because you don't want a bunch of inky fingerprints all over your, your artwork. <laughs> so just some throwaway paper for this first one. We're going to whoop, just Plop it down. And then flip it over, hold it so that it doesn't slide around on the block. And we're gonna do the barren first. So apply firm pressure, kind of in a circular motion. Now I'm gonna try and just peek at it without fully pulling it off the block and see. Okay, it's a little thin and salty, but you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and pull this print. All right, so here they are side by side. It's salty in here, so I think I need to get more ink on that. And we're gonna try inking it up a bit more, doing another test print before we move to the real printmaking paper. Like I said a moment ago, like to have a very clean workspace, especially because I'm working in such a small area. It just contains the ink, keeps the ink contained. Let's add some ink to our palette, just a thin layer. Do that rolling. This is looking pretty good, almost too thick because you can kind of see the texture of the ink, but not too thick yet. And now we roll. That's looking pretty good to me. Another test print sheet and... Press it down. Let's try the wood spoon this time. If your paper is super thin, you could put a sheet of tracing paper down so that you don't accidentally tear your paper on one of these edges.
Wow, I'm much happier with this print. <laughs> so there's a bit of saltiness, but for hand printing, I'm not super great at hand printing, but I would say like, I would maybe try to get the saltiness out over here. So just remember to um, ink up that part. But for hand printing, this is pretty good, I think. Um, I kind of like the salty texture in the leaves. Um, you can see I'm, I'm sort of losing my detail on my block there. So, but this is a good print. And let's do another one. The block is fairly inked up. This time I'm gonna use real paper. Real paper, printmaking paper. So you just want to line it up on those two points. I like the mulberry paper because you can kind of see through it. So I'm going to try Baron again. So it's looking pretty good. It's a little salty and patchy right here with the ink. So I think some ink has dried on my block a bit, which you can see right there. That happens with water-based ink. Um, that's why I recommend water-based ink for like smaller projects, but pretty happy with this considering it was hand printed with water-based ink. So, I'm gonna stop here with this process. I will probably print some more of these with my favorite ink, uh, just so I can get some more consistent quality through here for like what I'm looking for. But that's all I got for the printing process. Thank you so much for watching. I hope all of this was helpful. If you followed along with my tutorial, then post your final print on Instagram and tag me at Smish Studio so I can see what you made. I really want to see everyone's work, um, especially if they did my design too. I kind of want to see how their version came out. Otherwise, uh, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I usually do studio vlogs, so it was fun to do this type of video and show a little more step by step my decisions throughout the whole process and what I'm thinking about. Have fun printing. Bye. <laughs>